What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and for today I got seven more kitchen gadgets. For the first gadget I got here fruit slicer, avocado, kiwi, papaya, melon and even mangoes. So I got today papaya and avocados. Let's see if this gadget works. The reason why it works for so many fruits, it is adjustable. I never seen a food cutter like that that is adjustable. Usually it's only like avocado cutter or a mango cutter, but not all together. So all I have to do is pin this and you see it's going much, much, much bigger. I like it. That's cool. Let's see if it's going to work on a papaya because it's so big. Step one, we'll have to cut it like this. Boom. Okay, actually I'm going to remove seeds first with this gadget. I'm going to make it much, much smaller. So this is the smaller it gets. And I can just use this to remove all the seeds and take off this top layer of stuff. Boom. Look how cool that is. Papaya is just like a melon pretty much, except obviously a little smaller and probably tastes different too. Then I'm going to make it bigger and then remove everything from the shell. Let's see if it's actually going to work. It's probably too big right now. That should be good enough. You know what? That papaya is not ripe enough or something because this thing it does not want to cut. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of going sideways. So maybe it's just not ripe enough. Although on the picture it shows the whole half papaya. It does not work like that. Maybe if I cut it in the other half, it'll be a lot better. So I'm going to make it smaller. Now let's try to cut it again like this. Yeah, whenever it's smaller, it has a lot more power to cut too. Otherwise, it has to be a lot more ripe. But it's okay, as you can see, you can just cut it in quarters and slices like this. And it will slice, no problem. Boom. I like it. So far, so good. Remove the seeds easily. Scrape it off like this. This time I'm going to make it even smaller quarters just to see what happens. Okay, there goes nothing. Check this out. Slice too, so well. So whenever it's not as ripe, you wanna probably make it in quarters. Check this out. Peels it so well. You can even get this part whenever this one is too thick you have to make it bigger, but then it won't cut because it's not ripe enough. But look how comfortable that is. You could probably do it with a melon just as easy. Okay, that's cool. Let's try this with avocado. I got here an avocado. This one is not super soft. Let's see if it's going to work anyway. Cut it in half, peel it. You know how to remove this seed. Hit with the knife and pull it out, easy. Okay, and then you can just adjust it to the size you like. This is probably big enough, maybe make it, uh, yeah, maybe a little, little bit bigger. See what happens. You see it goes all the way in. And then you just peel through like this, boom. And it comes out all the way. This is so nice. Whenever it's ripe enough, that tool works so well. So I'm sure if a papaya was softer, I could do the whole half, just like an avocado. For this gadget, I got a scoopies like this for like a powder, protein drinks, keratin, mixed drinks, whatever you do for the bottle. Let's say you got your shake bottle, usually you have to open it up, put the protein or powder, whatever you use, then you got to close it. Then you mix it. Well, guess what? With this scoopies, you don't even have to do that. You open this like that, then close it, and you can even put it in a regular water bottle, or you can put it inside right here, boom. 
but if you don't have a mixed bottle it will work for any kind of water bottle as well if you just time to add on some kind of powder flavor check this out super cool makes sense right well let's demonstrate so you would go inside there grab the powder then you close it you want to close it all the way then you put this and you see there is like a funnel shake it up boom how cool is that and then you can close it so the rest of the powder don't come out pretty awesome then you close it then you can pour a little scoopy in and it's like a funnel how cool is that wow and then you can shake it up with water and get your protein amazing for the next gadget i got here pretty unique can opener i never seen this one before let's see if it's pretty easy to use we go lock it in and then we're just going to spin it and wow check this out this is so easy whoa no way this is such a weird way it's cutting it let me open this it cuts from the side not from the inside here it cuts it from the side wow this is nice pretty clean cut for sure let's try this again it locks in cuts it and i love how i'm just spinning this whole thing and it just goes around really really easily i'm gonna go try to go all the way boom wow check this out this is going to be very very sharp though be careful yeah second time turned out to be even better love this can opener really nice design for the next gadget i got here chips fingers let's see what it's all about perfect timing to use these things because i actually cut myself you see i have a band-aid so you put this thing on your finger and it one size fits all and as you can see i have really big fingers and it looks like it fits really good on my fingers even on the thumb too wow check this out now i can eat finger food without problem and worry about my hands are dirty just put this in a plastic bag ziplock so next time you're going to a restaurant and going to eat chicken wings you can put this on but for now i'm just gonna put it to the test on cheetahs you know, cheetahs usually make your hands really, really messy. Same thing Doritos. Doritos has a lot of flavor like the, right there. If you grab it, keep grabbing it, you see? Fingers are gonna be all yellow. So this is why this finger chips are pretty awesome. Because it's really hard to get rid of the spices of your fingers. And then you can put this back in the bag and wash them later. But you know there might be even better solution. Check this out. It's a little, I don't know what you call it, hand with two fingers at the end. And you can use it to grab chips or finger food, anything. I don't really understand what it says in the description, but it is self-explanatory. You press it like this and it grabs it. Hopefully it holds it really well. Let's try it out. Okay, it was first one right here. No, not bad. Go up a chip, hold it, holds it really well. Check this out. Not flying out. Oh, well, obviously I'm not gonna shake it that much, but you can see, holds it really well can grab a small pieces, big pieces, whatever. I want a tiny one. All I have to do is just grab it like that. Boom, easy. A bigger one right here, no problem. So as you can see, I can do this all day. For the next gadget, I got here a brand new apple peeler. Let's see what this one is all about. Also comes with the apple slicer. Definitely a little bit different design compared to what I used to. All right, this is what it looks like how it works. Okay, I'm gonna put an apple to it. Take off this right here. Let's zoom in on it a little bit. Suctions, 
all the way in boom easy let's see if this suction works really well because some apple peelers don't have that good suction wow that is satisfying whoops handle kind of came off there you go other than that works really well take off a peel Take off an apple. This is nice peeled apple. This is a really tiny apples. I'm going to grab a big apple. Whoops. Something else fell off. I guess this is a blade replaceable. No big deal. Spin it all the way. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that blade is so sharp. You better be careful if you're using this thing. Whoops. Okay, got two apples right here to remove this right here you press it to the side. Ouch! Almost cut myself. Be very very careful with that blade because I just cut myself. There's like three oopsies over here. So put the blade uh, cover back on when you're not using it. And obviously apple peelers are awesome. Boom! So satisfying every single time. Boom! Let's see if it's going to work with this big apple. Boom. Let's start to spin it, see what happens. Oh wow, it works really well even with the big apples. Amazing, honestly. But you know what I would do? I would close this every time you time to remove the apple because you can cut yourself while you're in removing an apple. So make sure you close this cover blade every single time. Look at that cut. But yeah, pretty amazing. For the next kitchen gadget, I got here scoop and slice, tropical food. Okay, I got here another papaya. Let's slice it up. Very nice. Okay, let's see if this one can remove all the seeds. Just as easy. Mm, not as much because it's not really adjustable. But at the same time, check this out, it does pretty good job removing all the seeds and not taking out the good stuff. I know, I should show it to you. It's obviously a little different gadget compared to the last one because it's not just scoops it, it's also slice it. Then what I would do is turn this to pull out three knives right here. They're not sharp. So this mango or whatever you're going to slice has to be pretty, what do you call it? Ripe and soft. If it's not ripe and soft, it's not going to work that well. Make sure you go all the way in. So that way you cut it all the way. Wow, really nice. Let me try this again on this one as well all the way in oh yeah this one definitely going a lot deeper than i did on the other one and then you can slice it up into cubes one more time and one more right here now let's see if we can scoop everything out and so it's actually turns out to be cubes there you go, somewhat comes out, but again, it has to be really, really ripe for this gadget to really work well. But you know what, check this out, for the most part, it did good job. Can grab this, the rest of it, and this, the rest of it. There you go. It's alright, kind of a cubes, let's try this with this one. If I don't go too deep, it works a lot better, that's for sure. So there's a bunch of cubes. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe for more gadgets and stuff like that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.